Welcome back to the channel. We are here in Washington State at a very unique Airbnb. Welcome back to the channel. We are here in Washington State at a very unique Airbnb. Let's go check it out. So you guys have seen a little bit of the outside. Why don't you step on inside with me and let's check it out. So we're here in Sequam, question how to pronounce that, Washington. And we are in an old Santa Fe train car that has been converted into an Airbnb. So as you step in, you step right into the little welcome area before the living room. And if you look right over here, you've got a small coffee corner along with something really neat that you've got to see. So right down here, you've got a record player. Now it does also do things such as Bluetooth, etc. But right down here, they've got a whole bunch of actual vinyl records that you can play on this during your stay. And then right to your other side, you've got the split AC unit. So that'll keep you nice and warm or cold depending on the time of year that you are here. And as we know in the Pacific Northwest, it is rainy and cold a lot of the year. So now you step into the living room slash bedroom slash dining room area. So right over to this side, you have a big spacious couch. This pulls down into a nice queen size bed. And then you come over to the other side. You've got a TV to watch. And then right below that, you have a dining table that pulls on up so you have a space to eat here as well. So then beyond that living room, dining room, bedroom area, you've got your kitchen area and you've got everything you need. So you've got your sink, your induction cooktop, you've got a microwave, a fridge, and a freezer, and everything you need to use. You also have a cute little bookshelf in this corner that's filled with a bunch of books about trains, which I thought was a really nice added touch to this place. What's really nice about this train car specifically is if you have kids, or I guess even adults could really fit up here too, you've got two extra beds on either side right in the middle, and it's kind of fun because you have to crawl up in order to get into them. And then you walk right back into your big spacious bathroom, which has everything. You've got your toilet in this hidden door over here. You've got a nice shower over here. Of course your sink, but then the best part is right behind me right here. Come check it out. So in my personal opinion, the best part of this entire train car is the two-person jetted tub that you can enjoy. And right behind me, you've also got a couple pair of robes that you can use as well. So over here at the large train car, you actually have a building right behind here that has laundry, an ice machine, and a few other amenities. So the property actually has eight train cars, but we believe they are owned by uh, separate individuals because the one we stayed in was one individual we found on Airbnb, but the others were not listed on there. But if you actually look up Sequim train car rentals, you will find the others. So. Just giving you that little bit of advice. In the center of the property, you have this beautiful pond right here. And there is definitely some wildlife out here in Washington. Last night, we heard koi dogs. It sounded like koi dogs to us, uh, and a lot of them. And each train car is 
definitely really unique. Not just from the exteriors, you have different colors, different lights, things like that. But from what we saw, the picture of the inside, they all had their own unique spin and take on the whole theme, so it was really interesting. And speaking of wildlife, we've had poop on the bottom of our shoes <laughs> since we've been here. <laughs> yeah, so if you do come and stay, just know if you walk on any of the grass, you're gonna get some geese poop, some other bird poop on your shoes. Clean them before you go inside, take your shoes off, and definitely before you get back in your RV, if you're traveling by RV, clean them off, otherwise your RV's gonna be covered like ours was. <laughs> It just adds to the experience. So we actually had one neighbor last night and there was one person over in one of these uh, one farther away cars. Uh, but they were not here this morning so they probably just left early to go get a early morning hike in Olympic National Park. Which is only about 25 minutes away the actual main visitor center with the beautiful viewpoint. So we're going to try to make it there today. But we had to show you guys all these first. And as you can see they are all really unique and beautiful, uh, different colors. I wish I could take you on a tour of all of them on the inside. So ours being off season was only $100 for the night, plus of course cleaning fees and all that, came up to about $200. So for a unique experience, staying in a really awesome train car, and plus that jacuzzi tub, it definitely was money well spent in our opinion. And it's just one of those memories that you'll make. So why not spend a few bucks and just get to experience that. So we really hope that you guys enjoyed the tour of our train car and a little view of the property. Like I said, I wish we could have took you through every train car, but not only would that have been a long video, but we don't have access to them unless we want to spend a lot of money renting out eight train cars. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment below, let us know if you've ever stayed in a train car before. And also please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. We would really appreciate it. We love taking you along on our adventures. We'll see you in the next video. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see